So like you, I am passionately in favour of innovation. Innovation is the thing that moves the human race forward. The single, if you look at all the research about innovation, all serious innovation requires deep thought, it requires periods of mind wandering, it requires really sustained focus and attention. So if you're in favour of innovation, as we both are, passionately, the thing you most want to get right is attention. Because humans who can't pay attention can't innovate, right? If you if you can only think in 65 second bursts, good luck thinking of something new, right? You'll, you'll never get there. So if I think about all the really impressive innovators I've ever met, from Oprah to Noam Chomsky, they are people who make space to think deeply, to really properly pay attention. So I think and I wanted to just go back to something you mentioned before. I also really want to talk about childhood because I'm really fascinated that you've got an eight-year-old and I think this is there's specific elements that are destroying our children's attention that I think will really vibe with, the solutions will really vibe with you. But let's think about sleep because you've mentioned that a few times in exhaustion, right? So we are, in the United States, a chronically sleep-deprived society. Only 15% of us wake up feeling refreshed. It was one of the weirdest things that happened to me in Provincetown when I took those three months off. I, I remember one morning about a month in, I woke up and I went into the kind of um, kitchen. I was like, well, I feel really weird. What do I feel? And I couldn't place it. And I realized I had woken up and I wasn't tired, right? It was the first time I remember that happening to me in my adult life, because we live at such a level of exhaustion. 40% of Americans are chronically sleep deprived. So I interviewed loads of the leading scientists on sleep, people at Harvard Medical School and other places. And there was a few bits of science that really threw me on this. If you stay awake for 19 hours, which sounds like nothing, right? 19 hours. You will be as, your attention deteriorates as badly as if you got legally drunk. There was one experiment done by a guy called Dr. Charles Seisler, who I interviewed at Harvard Medical School. He put together two forms of technology. There's a technology that can track your eyes to see what you're looking at. And there's a technology we all know about that can scan your brain. So he gets tired people and he puts them into this machinery. And what he discovered was a complete head fuck. You can be awake, you can be looking around you, you can appear to be as awake as you and me, but whole parts of your brain kind of gone to sleep, right? You know when we use that phrase, I'm half asleep? Mm -hmm. Turns out that's not a metaphor. A lot of us are literally half asleep a lot of the time. And this is so important because Professor Roxanne Prashad, who's at the University of Minneapolis, explained to me a lot that, um, that when you're sleeping, your brain is repairing. It's healing itself. So throughout the day, something called metabolic waste builds up in your brain. It's what she calls brain cell poop, right? And when you sleep, your cerebral spinal fluid channels open up and a kind of water rinses through your brain and it clears out all this shit that builds up during the day. If you don't sleep properly, if you don't get eight hours sleep a night, which feels like a luxury to a lot of people in the United States. If you don't sleep eight hours a night, your brain does not clean itself. This is why people who sleep less are far more likely to get dementia. You literally build up with shit in your brain. Your attention will be much worse. You know that kind of hungover feeling you have mm -hmm. when you're tired? It's, it, it turns out that's because your brain is literally clogged up. So the single best thing you can do for your attention, along with exercise, is at an individual personal level, is get more sleep, right? Um, so yeah, the science on this is really clear and, and pretty shocking. Now there are some, and it sounds like you might be one of them, there's, a na there's some natural genetic variation in, t in terms of how much sleep people need. And some people are really lucky and just naturally need less sleep. But it's quite a small part of the population. And some people are unlucky and need a shit ton more. I actually agree with you. I, I agree yeah. with you that, you know, the more and more... And by the way, even the bodybuilding world, you, th this gentleman you spoke to that said sleeping uh, helps with men's like you're taking a mental shit, like you you're releasing all the toxins out of your, you know out of your <laughs> I brain. Like the phrase a mental yeah. shit that mental should be the name of the book. So so <laughs> you know the same thing happens when you're sleeping. Your muscles don't grow when you're working out. Your muscles grow when you rest. Your muscles hmm. when you're sleeping, your muscles are growing. So I can actually see that. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast. Click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.